Well, our time at Disney has come to an end. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a trip that was. Uh, I think I figured it out to be over 54 miles of walking, over 115,000 steps, seven days. And in all that time, I gained one pound, and I think it might have been muscles in my legs. <laughs> So back to the diet, we're back uh, off and running today's destination, only a short trip to Cocoa Beach and the Kennedy Space Center. So hopefully we'll be able to get reservations into there. Uh, decorations are down. I just have to finish packing up the outside. Dawn's finishing up the inside and we gotta be out of here in one hour. So that's it, let's get going. So we finally made it. Uh, a lot of traffic today, though it was a short drive, only about 60 some odd miles. Let's try this again. We're at the Joy RV Park. It is humid, as you can tell by the sweat on me and the fact that I started out totally fogged up lens on the camera. But yeah, it is humid, and we're at Joy RV Park, about 20 minutes from Cocoa Beach and about 20 minutes from Cape uh, Kennedy, the Kennedy Space Center. And we're gonna, uh, we're close to the beach communities, but we're gonna hang out here for four days, uh, get some, we're caught up, relax a little bit, let the blisters heal, and uh, this is gonna be home for, for a little bit. So we're on the Florida coast nice big site i mean we have a ton of space behind us i could have pulled back if the landing pad is right there the electrical is way over here almost backs in out our cord our water is way back here sewer's gonna be okay i probably could have backed up a little bit more but then we really would have been off the pad so i don't know what they were planning on when they built these sometimes they don't think it through for what an rv needs uh, or they have one rig that they happen to own and use that as a catch-all. Disney was perfect. What can I say? Disney was perfect. Anyways, let's get out of the heat and the humidity and into the cool. Today, we're going to be heading to Cocoa Beach, Ron John's Surf Shop. I hear that's quite the experience. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get to Jetty Park. And hopefully, we're going to be able to get to the pier. But we're going to kind of do some exploring today. So this is actually a pretty nice place. We have some space between us and the guy next to us. We're on an end, so we have all of this space. And look how far deep this goes. It just keeps going all the way back. You can almost fit two rigs in here. And on this side, I guess they are doing some construction. They got a big pile of dirt right out front of our door. Atka kind of likes that. I won't explain why, but that uh, Atka is taking quite a good use to that pile of dirt. We've got this incredible wooded area behind us. And to be honest, it is quite rare to even have that truck going by. We haven't had any real noise to speak of. So very nice place. Weather's supposed to be perfect. We got these giant billowy clouds all around us. No rain predicted while we're here. And we're gonna get going as soon as Don gets out of the rig. Coming from the lady that said, no, we're not spending any more money. She gave me a hard time for what, for getting the tickets to Kennedy Space Center. 
She spent almost twice that for this bag that I'm holding for her. Some of those are kids, okay? <laughs> Some of those are kids, so yeah. So this is what you're able to fish for right now. Know your limit, no license required. Wow. You cannot fish beyond this point. And right here, all you're gonna catch is surfers. <laughs> What's the limit on catching surfers? <laughs> We are on our way to put our feet in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Wow. This is a lot warmer than I expected it to be. So I guess we got water coming in off the Bahamas or whatever, right? Houston, we actually saw the Orion module was being used for for testing, but here we got a full-scale model of the Orion in front of us. Yeah, that is huge. This is made out of Legos. Oh, that's far out. Oh my gosh. actually built for Apollo 18. I'm not sure which one the one in Houston was built for. I'm guessing 19 or 20. But this is incredible to see again. Space pen. I think one of the funniest. The original. I think one of the funniest quotes. Yeah, I remember that thing. Yeah. One of the funniest quotes is they put all this time in inventing a pen that would be able to write in zero gravity. And when they later talked to the Russians, well, how did you write in zero gravity? They used, Their answer was we use pencils. pencils. <laughs> 
30 years ago or when it wasn't very, yeah 30 years ago yeah um you actually had a tour that drove you right by there yeah. you go yeah you actually you had a tour that drove the by the launch sites yeah. now they drop you off here this is really pretty this cool this is really impressive what they've added and what they've done yeah over the last 30 years and the stories and uh, quite moving and in some, to be in honest because this is an active launch yeah. site and it's probably more active now because of yeah. spacex and a lot of these others that are launching from here that it's probably not feasible to drive out there because there's always something going, there's something on. going on so with different launch sites and you have the assembly building right there so there's most likely snakes and alligators down there and butterflies got to watch out for those killer butterflies Okay, I just noticed it after I did that last shot. That statue was commissioned by Rocket Mortgage. Yeah, Rocket Mortgage. Let's get some commercials in there. <laughs> the grandstands for the launches out there. That is awesome. All right, you ready? As you can see by the sweat dripping off of my head already, it is a very hot and humid morning here in uh, east coast of Florida, Cocoa Beach, near Cocoa Beach. Anyways, this is our last day. We're packing up to head out. We're heading up to St. Augustine today. But final words on Joy Campground. Actually, it's a pretty cool campground. We had a clubhouse right across from us. We are in site number 165 plenty wide and incredibly long this is all still part of our site all the way out here to this little road and i have enough room in front that i could park the truck in front as well though it's a little bit tighter in front we had all the space next to us no one was here i don't even know if they use that power thing or not we do have a fair amount of space between us and the people next to us and what's kind of cool is there's this cool area to walk the dogs there's this meadow out here and beyond the meadow is just an incredibly dense grove of trees and undergrowth. You can't get into it, but Atka was always interested in it. And that goes way back. Price wasn't too bad. You're gonna wanna call ahead to see what the pri current price is when you get here, because prices have been going up everywhere. But there is, uh, besides all the amenities of the park that you'll see in their website and also on my review on our website, there's also a camping world less than a mile away. Just drive out to the main road, turn left, and you're right at a camping world. So in case you need any supplies or repairs or whatever, you got a camping world right here. So it's been a nice day. We were only about 20 minutes to Cocoa Beach, uh, 20 minutes to the Space Center. Uh, wow, what can I say? It's just an awesome, awesome place. I also recommend when you come to visit here, 
there is a little restaurant that was recommended to us very eclectic hole in the wall kind of a place if you blink you wouldn't even think about it but it's called the tiny turtle google it and it'll pop up amazing puerto rican slash caribbean slash fusion it is just so good ask them about their signature bowl and uh that's what i had just amazing amazing food great laid back atmosphere so very happy with that uh, I got to finish up the packing up today. As usual, Dawn's on the inside. I'm on the outside. I got a little bit left to do out here. And then I can treat myself to a little bit of air conditioning and help her finish up inside. So that's it. Next stop is going to be St. Augustine, Florida. So we're going to quickly end this one here. Yeah, here at NASA. And Cocoa Florida, Beach and Cocoa all. It's been very cool. Kennedy um, Space Center. Absolutely. An amazing experience. Don't, very emotional. And don't forget to hit that subscription button. And hit that bell that you know when we post every Sunday at 2. Yep. And for good measure, uh, check out our website, www.ourroadtocamelot.com, Facebook, and Instagram. And thumbs up. All right. Awesome. So safe travels. We'll see you on the road. Bye.